I have to do the best because I can't do anything else. It's just how I was born. I have to always give my best and try my best. My name is Michael Paul Callahan. I am an actor and model, and for the past two and a half years, uh, I've become an Elvis tribute artist, and I'm top ranked in the Northeast without really trying hard. <laughs> it just, just kind of happened, surprised me a little bit, but I enjoy it tremendously. I mean, I've been singing his music my whole life in the shower, now I'm getting paid to do it. I'm not complaining. I, I had to have, you know, the best costuming, the best everything, and so that's what I have. But it ended up being, you know, okay, I'm done. No, I'll buy that one. Wait, I, 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 I'm, no, no, okay, all right, I get that one. And it just kept going and going. I felt like that girl on Sex in the City, you know, she can't walk past a shoe store. And well, I'll get, I gotta have those Louis Vuittons. I don't even, I don't forget, I don't even know the names. So I, I, I've got 50,000 plus in uh, costuming because there's the belts and the capes and the, um, there's a lot more to it. <laughs> for, the, for those of you watching at home, this thing weighs about 10 pounds at least, <laughs> at least. <laughs> I'm getting a workout just standing here. To be honest, the, the wigs alone are, are exp enough to buy a car. Don't, don't remind my sons about that. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking neither one of them have a car but i've got 16 suits upstairs and three wigs i can't i mean seriously i can't do it without them and uh, i don't think i think at least from a support emotional support elvis couldn't have done it without his dad and and his wife but um i could there's no way i could do it uh without them mostly because i'm not elvis <laughs> You know, so I need help with the hair. I need help with the suits and costumes. I can't get in and out of them myself. And uh, I just, you know, I need her for the costuming. And uh, the boys do all, a lot of the technical work. <laughs> very selective about what I do because there's only so many hours in the day and I'm not as I, we've talked about I'm not going to live on the road but if there's a giant festival for the weekend Niagara Falls like there is or Lake George like I did or Westfield New York October 5th just now that I, I did I'll do it and, and have a blast because I have to be selective I don't do smaller events and if I do it's for a very special reason <laughs> So they're having a blast. You know you've got a sold captive audience, and uh, it's just a blast. But it's it's just it, it first and foremost how happy it makes other people. We're gonna start the last song, and the birthday girl isn't already playing on this. Come on up, Elvis has a present for you. Then yeah, I get a blast too. Just like opening a door for somebody that we all do, and and they smile and say thank you. That that. You help them, but if you feel good about doing it too. It's just the right thing. And the only thing they love more than seeing me uh, on stage dancing and, and, and singing to them and bringing back the Elvis experience to them is uh, posing for photos afterwards. Oh, they lose their minds. They love it. They line up. They, they're, they're going crazy. They can't get enough of it. <laughs> Elvis passed away at 42. Um, I, know, I know I looked at, but I'm not 42. <laughs> I'm getting older, and it's everybody wants to remember Elvis at his prime. I, I think that's just human nature. But once you get past Elvis's prime yourself, you know, and, and then definitely past 42, he wasn't at his prime the last six months. And that you're you're pushing against their concept or what they have in their pictured in their mind of Elvis. You know they can only stretch your imagination so far. Right now they're loving it because even at my age, I look more like Elvis than 98% of the ones out there doing it. 
but I, I just feel like it's going to be pushing it to try and go too much longer, more in a couple of years on a, on a huge level. But I'll do smaller ones, partially because I spent $50,000 on costumes. I'll, uh, and it makes people happy. That's the real reason. It, Pete, they love it. And that's something they'll always have, you know? No matter how old they get or whatever changes, they'll always have that and they love it. Thank you. Thank you.